guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna to do a do-it-yourself gel nail tutorial uh, we all know how much it, you rack up at the salons getting your nails done every two weeks and um, I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself change your color so many times you want um, and save money on the long run or even if you're using your regular polish we all know that it doesn't last as long with this gel um, it lasts a uh, well at uh, two weeks if you're not too much in water um, it may last a week and a half or if you just naturally so, take good care of it first you will need rubbing alcohol in 91% you can get this at Walgreens as you can see you're gonna need an antiseptic spray we have to always keep things clean so you don't want to get fungus and that stuff although this is it's difficult to get a fungus with this but you still want to be safe you need a prep and clean nail dehydrant today we're using the IBD gel polish and this is in peony bouquet you need a, the same IBD um, just gel polish the base coat and you need the gel polish the top coat this is what gives it the shine you need a cuticle stick a cuticle pusher or an orange wood stick or anything like this for your nails to clean around the edges a buffer and lint free towel paper towel or cotton swab lint free and most important you need a UV a UV light 36 watt UV lamp remove all your jewelry and let's begin firstly buff your nails just to take the shine off and clip and file the nails down I've already done that then you spray your antiseptic spray and let that dry next you're going to apply the prep and clean dehydrant so dehydrate the nail then we're going to apply the just gel polish base coat use this sparingly guys in this case the less is more and apply to the entire nail and do all 10 fingers be careful not to touch the outer area of the nail When I say the outer area, I'm talking about this area around here because if the base coat touches that area, then you're going to have lifting and it's going to peel off. It's not going to last as long as you would like. After you're done applying the base coat, you put into the UV lamp for one minute. Mm -hmm. 
And next we're going to apply the color. Apply the first coat very thin. As I said before, less is more. And avoid touching the outer skin or the outer area of your nails. And if you do happen to get it on the outer area of your nails, this is where the orange would stick or the neat cuticle pusher would come in and you just gently clean the outsides. After you're finished applying, applying the first tin coat, You put your nails back into the lamp, the UV lamp, for two minutes. Remove your hands from the lamp and apply a second coat of polish. Again, this is very important. Make sure you don't touch the side walls of the nails with the color, the gel polish. And if you have longer nails, you can seal the edges. And continue with the rest of the nail. After you apply the second coat, put back into the lamp for two minutes again. Remove your hand from the light and next you're going to apply your just gel polish top coat And back into the light for two minutes. Okay. 
okay guys this is what I really want you to see why it is I love this gel polish number one and um, what can be done when you have your gel polish you know even if you do it at the store at the, at the, at the nail salon and you do it at home it's the same effect but I just want to show you what it is happens when you use a gel polish opposed to the natural nail polish so here am I here I am with the other light on the other hand under the light it's gonna get a little shaky here guys because I really want this to be live so here I am under the light and I have a bowl of water here the next thing we're gonna get is the rubbing alcohol and the uh, lint free brush so as I said I want to get I want you all to get this live so you all can see what's going on so I'm still here in the corner here Woo under the light I just apply the top coat okay the light came off what we're gonna do next is take the rubbing alcohol as I said I want this to be live so you all will see what I'm speaking about you put the rubbing alcohol onto the lint free brush and you rub the nail look at this guys it's not it's not coming off just brush the rubbing alcohol to take the little tackiness that remains on the gel to take it off the nail and then you do it with the other hand isn't this amazing try this with regular polish and see what happens <laughs> and you apply you just rub rub just to give it the shine with the rubbing alcohol as you can see I just took it off from under the UV lamp look rubbing alcohol on a paper and it's not coming off and to go further to show you how this gel works this is a bowl of water I have here. This is live, folks. I'm not editing any part of this video. I'm going to do two of the, of the, what do you say? I'm going to do two of the things that you're not supposed to do when you just had your nails done. Two of the no-nos that you do. And this here is regular tap water. And I'm going to put my hand in the water. And I'm going to just swish it around. You don't have to wash it after after the alcohol process, you're, pretty, you're done. But I'm just showing you how amazing this gel polish is. And look at this. No smudge. I'm even going to take the towel and dry it up. You can play with your kids. You can do your hair. You can dress. I'm even going to go further, guys. Look at this. A plastic bag. Now, we all know that this is a no-no for a fresh nail polish. Look at this. Sorry about the noise, but you all got to get the point that I'm trying to make here. Look at this. no smudges look at that still on no lines no smudges so that's it bye guys have fun oh wait I forgot to mention I'll mention all the the, the cost of the products and the cost of the lamp below bye